quickie and we've got an aircraft the second I push the record button. That happens when you live in a flight lane. Anyway, recently the front yard has been flooded. It's been raining literally cats and dogs every time I try and do this job. I'm looking at my eight wheel drive Argo here and the two front tires here are well below their spec pressure. I normally run these guys at seven and those guys at five PSI. Normally you'd run them at about three or four. These guys are at about zero or something. So they need a bit of airing up. So I'm gonna take the caps off here. I have a low PSI pressure gauge under the seat in this thing. Now I have connected every extender I've got from the back shed and it's still not quite enough. But we're gonna put a little bit of air in these, probably over the pressure them slightly and uh, then let them down to the correct pressure. But I think I bent the rims in this um, some years ago <laughs> when I first got it. Uh, where are we? PSI is in the middle. So if we come up to 10, we're already above it, but we just want to get the needle to come up off the bottom here. And I'll give it a bit of a feel really want the, mo the smallest pressure that this needle can read. There we go, we're just off the bottom. That's all we need in that one. Difficult job, but needs doing. And you get flat spots if you let them too far down. See, this one's sitting way down. Have we come up over the bottom? This is a question that seems to pop up on the Argo groups a lot, is tyre pressure. If you're running tracks, you'd run seven in the middle and five front and rear. And that has just come up off the bottom. The needle's no longer resting on the peg. That's all we need for this one. The rest are pretty good. I'm gonna walk around and give them a bit of a push and feel that's not too bad. And uh, while I've got it out, I'm going to get my low pressure gauge. Alright, so one of the things I regularly find myself explaining is why I run the pressures that I do for tracks when, uh, and that's 5 psi by the way, uh, when I should really be uh, running them a lot lower. Well, I'm not in Canadian swamp. So I'm a lot of the time uh, on really hard stuff which it shouldn't be this being a skid steer so I'm trying to keep the front rears off the ground a little bit and uh, so hopefully I don't scrub the tread off the tires so quick though I do try to avoid that kind of terrain as best I can we're about six need a little bit more I'm gonna do all eight tires if I can reach them I probably can't But these two are the ones that have got a slight wrinkle in the rim from a, an event I had when I was out with Tinkerman Mick. What are we? We're about five, six and a bit. Yeah, I won't go any higher than that. They're fine. Plenty high enough for these tyres. See if we can reach the rears. We can't. Okay, so the rears I might tend to when I next go past a um, service station. Alright, let's try the other side. Now, I was really hoping to avoid this, where I get my airline horribly dirty, but there's not much avoiding it in this condition. Now, hopefully when it stops raining, oh, pond weed on the valve cap, yay. Um, hopefully when it stops raining for more than five minutes, I'll be able to get some chain oil in and get some sand out. Let's check this one. Well, yep, you're below readability even on the low pressure one. Whoa. We'll fill this one up quite a bit. It does make for a softer ride having lower pressures and you get a better ground pressure but it's uh, still, for what I'm doing, I need slightly higher pressure. We're about five, that's about good. And we'll do that one up. Check the next one. I think the rears are definitely going to need doing. But I can't reach them with my airline. That one's probably okay. The plovers have found me and they get very territorial. 
They're a bird with a, I think, the females of the species have a venomous spur on their wings. Generally, you don't mess with them if you really don't have to. That's about a six. I want to come up just a tiny bit more. We'll do that. Keep going. Oh, the joys of tire pressures. That should definitely do it. A little bit much. A little bit out. Yep. Got to come down a bit. Yep. Yeah, good enough. All right, I'll try and get these other two and see how we go. So, I'm, well, that was noisy. I managed to find an extra bit of airline out of my portable compressor kit. This will be fun. I think I'm going to need some hearing protection when I disconnect those lines. It's going to be quite noisy when I do. All right, oh, I'm bumping the camera on stuff. The two rears, which, based on what the pressures were on the rear two on the other side, definitely needs doing. This is a nice little rubber bit on it. I can see that being a problem, but all right. Put a bit of pressure in this one and see where we're going. Almost there. This one's not too far off. See how we go. We're a bit high now. Yeah, that's about right. At least what I want. Probably way above what's recommended, but it's the whole idea. What's this one at? This one's well below. They were definitely all over the shop. At least having even pressure is probably better than having them at the correct pressure. Yeah, that one's got to come down. Way down. Another PSI. That's about good. Alright, tyre pressure's done. Now to roll everything up. Alright, now the fun part has done. And now for the fun part. Tyres are done. We need to roll this up in such a way that we don't fill the airline or the fittings full of mud, which requires me to walk through all that horrible mud. Oh. Look, I hate summer, but it'll be really nice when it stops raining. I think this is going to sit in the number five trailer next to the gearbox that's going to get done at some point. All right, check our other airline back where it normally lives. Up through here. Oh, here we go. Through the roof. And we do a lap so that the expensive Jeep that my wife has doesn't run into it. All right, that'll be that. One day we're going to clean up all of this area too. So I can park the Argo in here again. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Sorry this one was boring. We'll try and do something better soon. See you later.